Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, Uganda. Good morning, everyone. We love this country. This country is going to be peaceful. This country shall stand on the promises of God. This country shall have peace. Our honorable MPs will have peace. Our honorable ministers will have peace. Our president will be protected. Our mama, our mama Janet will be protected. Our children shall be protected. The time for school is now. Our girls and sons, you will study. Your children will study in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Pastor Grace Kabuye, my people, ministries as usual, this is your moment. I want to assure you, this is a week of arising. I have a message for you. Arising is now. You're going to arise to another level. You're going to arise to where you will achieve. You're going to arise to your expectation. You're going to arise. Today I want to speak to you something that is very important into our lives. I know this country was dedicated to God many years ago. That's why we say, oh Uganda, for God and my country. Therefore, every th threat the enemy is trying to do is just rubbish. It's a lie. God is going to protect you. You are in the hand of God. God loves you. God loves your children. The time for school is now. I understand. But no one thing. The Bible says that children is a gift from above. All the children you see, all your children is a gift from God. Therefore, God is making sure our children are going to be provided with a school fee they need. As God was able to provide last time, last year, and many years, even now, he's still alive. Now, the Bible says, Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1, Arise, shine. Hallelujah. Arise, shine. My brother, my sister, I want to tell you, the time for your arising is now. This scripture tells us we must do the human and God does the godly. Arise. It means do something. It means speak out. It means take a step. Call the school. Tell them. Have, have school fees, tell the children, have, have school pocket money this time. Therefore, we must be doing something. I see you arising. I see you arising this week, this day, this month is your month of arising. The Bible says, arise, shine. You cannot shine until you arise. Your business will not grow until you start. You will never know how to pray until you start. You'll never know how to take a picture until you hold a camera and take one. I understand you have made the last mistake, but that mistake was just a training. Do it again. Do it again, again and again. Something's about to happen. Hallelujah. I want to assure you, when you arise in your brain, when you arise in your actions, when you arise in your speech, speech, there are some people, we, whose speech is negative to them, whose speech is their hindrances to go to another level, whose speech is their only gun towards them. The, the way you speak, must, you must arise in speaking positively. My children are going to study. I shall make it. I'm highly protected. I'm loved by God. The Bible says there was a man called ne uh, Naaman. Naaman was a leper. The Bible says he writes a king of Israel and tells him, please, king, I've had miracles happen in your country. Please, can I come? Because the, the, the maiden, the, the maid at home, had told the, the mama that in my country, there is a prophet, he can pray for my master to get healed. Nehemiah comes and the prophet tells him, you are going to dip yourself in the Jordan seven times. The Bible says, Nehemiah says, no. I cannot drop myself in Jordan. Are there not so many rivers in my country? I can do that. Until his servants told him, my master, what, what do you lose by dipping yourself in the Jordan? The guy obeyed and did look at me. He dipped himself in the Jordan. Number one, he never changed. Number two, never changed. Number three, never changed. Number four, there was no change. Number five, there was no change. Number six, nothing was happening. Until the seventh time, and the Bible says, and the guy, the leprous left him, and he was totally healed. He received a babyish skin. 
I see you doing it again and again. I see you calling the same number again. I see you pursuing the same profession again. I see you arising. I want to challenge you. Arise and pursue your vision. Arise and pursue your profession. Arise and pursue what you, your dreams are. Because I see God is connecting with you. Hallelujah. The week of arising is now. We had a powerful crusade in Nakawuka. Oh my God, we saw power in Nakawuka. We saw salvation in Nakawuka. We saw the, the witches receiving Jesus in Nakawuka. Do you know why? For many years ago, we arose and started our first crusade. was on the drums. Five people. Hallelujah. In Kalagala with Pastor David on the drums. Those days we had no camera. But now we have seen the masses on the crusades. Right now we are going to move in. We are expecting masses because we arose. That's why I want to challenge you. Don't sleep again. Wake up from your bed. Don't cry again. You have cried enough. Hallelujah. You have abused enough. Stop abusing people. Stop writing wrong letters to the people. Arise and do something. God is going to bless you. Your strike to receive a bigger salary doesn't work. I want to assure you, get something you do. God is going to bless the hand of your, the work of your hands. That's the Bible says, I shall bless the work of your hand. That's why I challenge you. Don't sleep in church every time. Arise as I pray. We are going to pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release anointing arise to another level. I pray for my sister. I pray for my brother watching this morning. Oh my God, your children. I want to bring your children that are going to school. Bring them. Bring them on the TV. I lay my hands on them. They are going to study well in the name of Jesus. All this week, I am going to be praying for the students who are going to school every day. So bring them on the TV. I am going to lay my hands on them. Now you represent me. Lay your hands on them. I release wisdom. I release knowledge and understanding. My father, I pray for our president. And I pray for our, the first family and our mama. In the name of Jesus. I release wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and protection. I pray for honorable MPs in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare protection. I rebuke every threat upon their lives. I release a good understanding and a good, a good house. I pray for our speaker and the deputy speaker. In the name of Jesus, you busy staff, I pray for you. I release, I release anointing to the board of UBC, I declare every sick to be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I pray for the entire country. I rebuke the spirit of threat. I declare peace in our country. I declare a great harvest. God spoke to me. We're going to have the best harvest this season. I see maize. I see beans. I see matoke. I see people working. You're going to prosper. This season is your son of prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I pray for the sick. If you are Seek, put your hands on your head like this. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. the hearing upon you now. The hands upon your head is the hand of Jesus. Wherever sees me, you are seeing Jesus. The power is touching you wherever you are. I declare hearing right now. I believe God has healed you because we have received testimonies from Southern Sudan, from every other pastor. I saw you on the TV. You prayed for me and my stomach was healed. You prayed for me, my back was healed. I see somebody, your back is getting healed now in the name of Jesus. Somebody, your neck is getting healed now in the name of Jesus. Oh, you are getting a job you need. I pray for people who need jobs right now. Receive that job. You have applied. Nobody's up calling you. Your application has been approved today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Tomorrow, you're going to give a testimony. Tomorrow is the time of testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the business people right now. Your businesses are going to grow. Uganda's economy is growing higher and higher. I pray for the people working in the markets. For the tax people, for the border borders, for the people who are drivers, I pray for you. You are getting a salary that you need. I pray for every agricultural man, farmers. I pray for your animals. I pray for your crops in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, oh my God, I cannot forget to pray for our security personnel. I pray for the personnel, the police, and the, also the soldiers. I pray for you. This is your week. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Grace Kabuye. 
my people ministries. God has been so good. I'm giving these numbers for you to call. Send WhatsApp. We shall be praying for you. 0751625962. Another number is 0701-0704-943565. We love you so much. See you tomorrow. Same time, bring your children for prayers.